What's up? Welcome to another five minute drum lesson where we doozer twozer in five minutes or less. On today's agenda, accented triplets. So we've already looked at accented 16th notes. So um, the idea of the accent should be pretty familiar at this point. But just as a quick review, uh, we have kind of three basic stick heights. You can get into more subtleties than that. But as a general principle, it's good to think about your just regular volume notes, okay? We'll call those just average volume notes. And then quiet notes, like ghost notes, when you're playing your grooves, you want some notes to um, complement the rhythm you're playing, but not be the primary focus of, of uh, what, you're, what you're playing. And then your accent. So an accent, you hit harder. And within the context of some regular notes, they should stand out. When you're practicing accents, uh, you want to exaggerate them, play them nice and loud, the unaccented notes nice and soft. And then when you go to play and perform on the actual kit, uh, you'll not exaggerated quite as much, but those accents will still pop and sound really good. So your accented triplet, we've got your, your basic pattern. You want to start with unaccented triplets to make sure you can play those nice and even. One, two, three, a little slower, four, and our count, two, and a uh, three, and a uh, four, and a uh, one. nice and even and then to that we're gonna add our accents and when we start adding the accents you're gonna come down hard on the accent keep the other ones nice and low to the pad kind of similar to uh, the paradiddle when you come down on the accent and you want to keep everything else nice and low it's gonna work the same way with our triplet and we're gonna practice putting the accent on the first triplet partial, so we've got the three triplets, uh, one and a, uh, on each beat, so first partial, second partial, third partial. It's just a fancy way of referring to them. Uh, so on the beat it's going to be three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one, two, three, four, and a uh, one. On the second partial, the and, one, and a, uh, two, and a, uh, three, four, and a, uh, one, and a, uh, two, and a, uh, three, and a, uh, four, and a, uh, one, and a, uh, two, and a, uh, three, and a, uh, four, and a, uh, one. And then the a, uh, which is like the upbeat and the triplet context, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three, a, uh, four, a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one, two, three, four, a, uh, one. So you work on those uh, three accent patterns and that's your foundation for any accented rhythms you're going to play on a triplet figure and uh, just building a really solid base, base with that, the same way you do with your accented uh, 16th notes, super, super helpful. So when you come in, run into those rhythms and those figures, you're gonna be able to manage them and play them musically. Uh, so then finally, a uh, little exercise to sum it all up, we're gonna do two bars of each type of accent. So two bars on the beat, two bars on the and, the middle triplet, the second partial, and uh, two bars with the accent on the upbeat, the uh, the third partial little faster goes like this one two da 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 one two three four one two three four one and a two and a three and a four one two three four one two three four one and a two and a three and a four and a one work it out like that run it through pay big dividends thank you for joining me see you on the next one